Psoriasis is a chronic autoimmune skin condition that affects millions of people worldwide. It is characterized by the rapid turnover of skin cells, leading to the formation of thick, scaly patches on the skin's surface. Psoriasis can occur at any age and can vary in severity from mild to severe. It affects approximately 2% to 3% of the global population. Although psoriasis is not contagious, it can significantly impact a person's quality of life and self-esteem. It presents with a range of symptoms that can vary from person to person. The most common symptoms include red and inflamed patches. Psoriasis typically appears as raised, red patches covered with silvery scales. These lesions can be painful and irritating. The affected skin may become dry, cracked, and prone to bleeding. This can be particularly uncomfortable and may cause discomfort in daily activities. Psoriasis can affect the nails, causing them to become thickened, pitted, or ridged. In some cases, nails may also detach from the nail bed. Many individuals with psoriasis experience a burning or itching sensation in the affected areas. This can significantly impact their quality of life. In some cases, psoriasis can also affect the joints, leading to joint pain and swelling. Psoriatic arthritis is the term used to describe this particular condition. Psoriasis can manifest in different forms, each with its distinct characteristics. The main types of psoriasis include plaque psoriasis. Plaque psoriasis stands out as the predominant form of psoriasis, characterized by raised, red patches covered with silvery scales. Involvement tends to be symmetric, and the patches often appear on the elbows, knees, scalp, and lower back. Thudate psoriasis occurs most frequently in children. It is often triggered by a bacterial or viral infection, frequently after upper respiratory tract infection with beta-hemolytic streptococci. It presents as small, red, scaly spots on the skin, typically on the torso, limbs, and scalp. Inverse psoriasis primarily affects the skin folds, such as the armpits, groin, and under the breast. It appears as smooth, red patches of inflamed skin. Pustular psoriasis is characterized by the presence of pus-filled blisters on the skin. These blisters can be painful and surrounded by red, inflamed skin. Erythrodermic psoriasis is the most severe and rare form of psoriasis, where the entire body's surface becomes red, inflamed, and covered with shedding skin. Erythrodermic psoriasis requires immediate medical attention. The precise cause of psoriasis is still not fully understood. However, research suggests that a combination of genetic and environmental factors play a significant role in its development. Some common triggers that can cause psoriasis flare-ups include immune system dysfunction. Psoriasis is considered an autoimmune disorder where the immune system mistakenly attacks healthy skin cells. This immune system dysfunction triggers the rapid growth of skin cells and the inflammatory response seen in psoriasis. Psoriasis tends to run in family indicating a genetic predisposition to the condition. Certain gene mutations can affect the immune system, leading to an abnormal immune response and the development of psoriasis. Injury to the skin, such as cuts, burns, or insect bites, can trigger the development of psoriasis lesions in the affected area. This phenomenon is known as the Koper phenomenon. Various environmental factors can trigger or exacerbate psoriasis symptoms. These include infections, such as strep throat or skin infections, stress, smoking, alcohol consumption, and certain medications such as antimalarials, lithium, NSAIDs, and beta blockers. Sudden withdrawal of systemic or potent topical steroids can trigger the condition. Diagnosing psoriasis usually involves a combination of physical examination, medical history review, and sometimes laboratory tests. A dermatologist or healthcare provider specializing in skin conditions can make an accurate diagnosis. The following diagnostic methods may be used. Medical history. The doctor may ask about the patient's family history of psoriasis, previous skin conditions, and the presence of any triggers that may worsen the symptoms. The healthcare provider examines the skin, nails, and scalp for characteristic signs of psoriasis, such as red patches, scaling, and nail abnormalities. In some cases, biopsy of a small sample of the affected skin may be taken for examination under a microscope to confirm the diagnosis. Blood tests may be performed to rule out other conditions with similar symptoms and to assess the overall health of the patient. While there is no cure for psoriasis, 
Various treatment options are available to manage the symptoms and improve the quality of life for individuals with this condition. Treatment plans are tailored to the individual's needs. The goal of therapy is to decrease the epidermal proliferation and the underlying dermal inflammation. Three types of topical agents are used, steroids, tar, anthralin preparations, and ultraviolet light. A topical vitamin D analog is also efficacious in the treatment of psoriasis. Steroids are both antimitotic and anti-inflammatory. Topical steroids are the easiest to use. Over-the-counter hydrocortisone preparations are ineffective, and the stronger fluorinated preparations are required. The usage is limited to two weeks, and if possible, occlusive dressings is avoided. It should be tapered down to prevent rebound. They are usually reserved for recalcitrant plaques or lesions on palms or soles of feet. Examples of topical steroids include alclomtasone dipropionate, fluticasone propionate, and betamethasone dipropionate. These topical steroids are of different potency, and the kind of topical steroid chosen depends on specific conditions of the patient. Topical TARs, a hydrocarbon-based substance that exhibit antimitotic activity, meaning it inhibits cell division. Additionally, TARs possess anti-inflammatory properties. Coal tar, available as Estar or Sori gel, can be particularly beneficial when used in conjunction with topical steroids, alternating between the two. For application, it is advised to let the tar preparation air dry for 15 minutes before going to bed. Alternatively, it can be applied in the morning for 15 minutes and then rinsed off during a shower. Another option is to use anthralin ointment with a concentration of 1% or higher, applying it for 5 to 30 minutes, and then washing it off. This treatment can complement other therapies effectively. It is recommended to use these preparations before undergoing ultraviolet light treatment. Retinoids derived from vitamin A may be prescribed for severe psoriasis that doesn't respond to other treatments. They work by reducing inflammation and slowing down the growth of skin cells. However, they may have significant side effects and are generally reserved for specific cases. Salicylic acid is a topical treatment commonly used for psoriasis. It is a keratolytic agent, which means it helps to remove the scales and plaques that occur in psoriatic lesion. It works by softening and loosening the outer layer of skin cells, promoting their shedding. It helps to reduce the thickness of the scales and plaques associated with psoriasis. Salicylic acid is available in various forms, including creams, ointments, gels, shampoos, and even in combination with other medications. Vitamin D analogs are commonly used in the treatment of psoriasis. They work by binding to specific receptors in skin cells, which helps regulate cell growth and differentiation. By interacting with these receptors, they slow down the excessive production of skin cells and reduce inflammation. The most commonly prescribed vitamin D analog for psoriasis is calcipotrian. Other analogs include calcitriol and tacosidol. These medications are available in various forms such as creams, ointments, and solutions. Short-wave ultraviolet B therapy, either used alone or in conjunction with TAR therapy, is a viable treatment option. The sun serves as a cost-effective source of solar radiation. In cases of mild psoriasis, ultraviolet radiation proves beneficial. Ultraviolet light is an effective therapy for patients with extensive psoriasis, particularly when utilizing the ultraviolet B spectrum alone. Or in combination with coal tar, also known as the Gokerman regimen, or with anthralin, also referred to as the Ingram regimen. Both natural sunlight and artificial light sources can be utilized. Another highly effective treatment approach involves combining the ultraviolet A spectrum with oral or topical sorelin. However, long-term use of this method may be associated with an increased risk of squamous cell cancer and melanoma of the skin. In severe cases, when topical treatments and phototherapy are insufficient, oral or injectable medications may be prescribed to modulate the immune response and reduce inflammation. Biologic drugs target specific parts of the immune system involved in psoriasis. They are made from living cells and target specific immune system proteins involved in psoriasis, such as tumor necrosis factor interleukin-17 and interleukin-23. These medications are usually reserved for severe cases of psoriasis that are unresponsive to other treatments. Biologics are administered by injection or infusion and have shown great efficacy in treating moderate to severe psoriasis. 
Newer oral medications like apremolast and tofacitinib have been approved for the treatment of psoriasis. These drugs work by targeting specific molecules involved in the immune response to help control inflammation. Adopting a healthy lifestyle, managing stress level, avoiding triggers, and moisturizing the skin regularly can help reduce the frequency and severity of psoriasis flare-ups. Psoriasis can have various complications, both physical and emotional. It is essential to be aware of these potential complications and seek appropriate medical care when necessary. The complications may include psoriatic arthritis. Approximately 30% of individuals with psoriasis develop psoriatic arthritis, which causes joint pain, stiffness, and swelling. Early detection and treatment are crucial to prevent joint damage. Psoriasis is associated with an increased risk of developing other health conditions, such as cardiovascular disease, diabetes, obesity, and depression. The visible symptoms of psoriasis can significantly impact a person's self-esteem, body image, and overall quality of life. Psychological support and counseling can be beneficial in managing the emotional aspects of living with psoriasis. While psoriasis cannot be cured, it is possible for many individuals to achieve long periods of remission or significantly reduce their symptoms with appropriate treatment and management strategies. If you or someone you know is dealing with psoriasis, it is recommended to consult with a healthcare provider who can provide personalized guidance and develop a treatment plan tailored to your specific needs. Thank you for watching. If you found this video informative, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more valuable content. Remember to hit the notification bell so you never miss an update.